All right, everybody, welcome to a new Minecraft snapshot. This video brought to you by my birthday. I'm in the last year of my 20s. I'm getting very old, but hey, you can help this video out by checking out the like button down below it, our other sponsor and all that good stuff. Anyway, you might say that on my birthday, they've ushered in a new era of Minecraft, and that's why I'm standing on this one by one pillar, because I'm about to hit F3. That's why my webcam's in the lower left-hand corner here. And you look at that Y value, and you're like, wait a minute, that's not 256 at max build height. That's 320. They've added 64 blocks to the build height. Wait a minute, you're not in an amplified world? No, I'm not in an amplified world. This is just a normal world generated in the new snapshot, and we've built up to Y equals 320. Pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and take the plunge off of this all the way down to bedrock. See how long it takes. Let's go skydiving. Here we go. I mean, it is, it's well over a thousand feet now, I guess. Just a bit over a thousand feet. Well, I kind of spoiled it because, well, you might think we're at Y equals zero right now, but you'd be incorrect because we're going to hit F3 again and we're at negative 63. You're like, wait a minute. You're not falling into the void. You're standing on bedrock. Yeah. So now it goes from 320 to negative 64. The bedrock that I'm standing on is negative 64. So they've added another 128 blocks to the world height. And the reason is I assume their goal is to make pre 1.17 worlds compatible with 1.17 worlds. So you need to line up sea level in order to do that. So they have to go below zero. So the deep dark and the warden and all that, that's that's gonna be uh, below y equals zero. Kind of kind of spooky, right? Pretty cool though. And I feel I feel validated because I said I thought this is what was gonna happen, and they had to do it to accommodate the cliffs and the caves. Speaking of the caves, let's check those out because uh, they've been added sort of. So as you can tell right now, way bigger caves, lots of water. The water is going to be changing. Right now they said it's just like all the caves below a certain height are flooded right now and that in the future uh, will be fixed. But man, you get some absolutely monstrous caves. The other interesting thing is, okay, look, right now we're at, uh, let's see if I switch back out of spectator, hit F3, we're at Y equals 12. There's diamonds here because it is, of course, y equals 12. But if we keep going down, then we're at y equals negative 30. There's diamonds here. So my question is, will the y level variation of diamonds be changed? Or can you just find diamonds everywhere now? Because look at this absolute unit of a cave. It's, it's like, in SMP Earth or in Vault Hunters, and you can just look around, you can see all the exposed ores and stuff like that. Look, it's like a dam right here. You've got water level that's really high, and then it goes down into water level that's lower. Kind of interesting, like it's blocked off by this sort of dam wall structure right here. And then you just got a geode sitting in the lake. I mean, dude, this is so cool. And keep in mind, this is just using like the regular cave look. This hasn't even incorporated the new cave biomes, like the lush caves, the dripstone caves, and all of that. So imagine what this is all going to look like once you've merged the two together. But again, this is just like a preliminary look at what the large caves and underground lakes are going to look like. But I, I think there's going to be less cave flooding once they polish things. But it's like you can see, okay, this is just a regular old ravine, as you would normally expect it. Just maybe slightly deeper than you'd be used to running into one. And then you have the new stuff with these flooded caves here and then really micro flooded caves on top of it. And so what they've what they've said is they've basically merged the two world types or the two cave gen types. You can still see a sort of caves and ravines that you would notice in in 1.16 and before. And now it's mixed in with uh, with the new stuff, which is look at this. Look at this absolute, it's like they took what would be a normal cave that you'd be walking through in the past and they just scaled it up. So it's just this gigantic tube. This is so cool. Oh man, I can't wait until it's combined with the new cave biomes and all that stuff. Bro, diamonds. Diamonds are gonna be so easy to find. The extreme amount of Y levels you can find it at now 
Oh my goodness, it's it's like you've got a range of almost 80 blocks that you can find diamonds in unless that gets changed But man, that seems OP. Oh, yeah, yeah just go swimming. There's some diamonds chilling Sticking out of the wall not a big deal. You can just go collect a bit of gold come up for air And you just keep going. It's interesting actually that the uh, The the lichens the glow lichens are, are survivable underwater I don't know if that's just when they generate with terrain or if you can actually oh, you can put them underwater huh. Well, you know, pretty cool. Okay, I haven't seen any more diamonds, so I'm gonna eat my words here about saying it's overpowered. But you get the idea, like, you can just look around and see a lot of ores, which is exactly what I would do in things like S&P Earth, and in Vault Hunters, and all that stuff. And then, dude, the caves just, like, they keep connecting. Oh yeah, then you got some more diamonds over there. No big deal, no big deal. It's pretty cool. So, anyway, just, uh, just a preliminary look at what caves are gonna start looking like. I like how you have the different separations in water levels. Like, it's still the same body of water, but it's just higher than the other. Like, the, the levels don't equalize. Eh, physics doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. It's Minecraft. Anyway, I look forward to never having to strip mine again, I guess. No excuse. There's diamonds there. Everywhere you look, you're gonna find some diamonds or some gold or something of value. But that's pretty much it. Oh, more diamonds. I'd encourage you, check out the snapshot. You can load it up in the Minecraft Java launcher, and uh, you can just explore some of the caves for yourself. And then in future snapshots, we'll be able to check them out once they've incorporated the new biomes. But this isn't it for the snapshot. We'll go back up on the surface and check out a couple minor tweaks. They made some changes to the drip leaf plants. Man, that thing just goes so high up. Sorry, I'm distracted. So now, no longer can you actually do the crouch or jump in order to prevent them from dropping. And also, it seems like they drop quicker now. But yeah, no, there, there's no more saving yourself. Like, you gotta, you gotta jump quick. That's all there is to it. Boom. And now I'm down. So it seems like they might have shortened the cooldown a little bit. So, you gotta do speedy parkour. I guess that's the whole point of it. Because, you know, if you made a map or something, you were trying to take advantage of Drip Leaf, then you just, you'd be able to shift. And then you wouldn't fall in before. So this is good. This really, it forces people to pick up their game. However, there is a way to prevent the drip leaf from, from dripping. And that is by uh, using a redstone signal. As you can hear, it really wants to drop me right now, but it can't. It's being forced to stay up. Sorry about that. I know you want to drop me to the ground. I know I'm pretty heavy. I'm probably going to eat a lot of birthday cake later. So I'm, gonna, I'm only going to get heavier. But now we switch that off. Then it'll drop me. And it seems like when you have a redstone signal applied to the drip leaf, that as soon as it's removed, it drops you, like it gets rid of the cooldown. Now, I don't know if that's just me noticing that the uh, the cooldown seems like it's it's shorter, or if that's just the way that works. As soon as you uh, jump off. Obviously, you get, that, you get that moment, right, where it goes to the kind of halfway level, and then you can jump from there, but um, it, it doesn't give you much time. That said, also, if you have the drip leaf in the down position, and then you immediately apply the redstone signal, it, it puts it back up again. So it just gets rid of that, having to wait for the cooldown to expire. So let it drop me again, and then back up. Cool. Another feature with it is now, when you shoot it with an arrow, it doesn't just break, which also, it makes sense. It'll just cause it to immediately drop. So you could have something like a Gary's Mod Unalive run, death run sort of thing, and you'll be able to, you know, try to shoot people off the platforms. Or just shoot people. But I guess if you turn PvP off, then you have to aim for the drip leaf, and then it'll drop them off, or something like that. Now, if you shoot one when it has a redstone signal applied, it will actually override it. So uh, keep that in mind, and then you'd have to, you know, reapply if you wanted it to instantly go up, but now it's back in its original state where it won't drop me off. It'll just keep making the noise. Like, hey, you get off of me, please, please. I know I have this redstone signal, but okay, I'll do you the courtesy of, of hopping off. Anyway, that was it for most of the extra changes, all having to do with the, uh, the drip leaf. But again, big thing, new world height, new caves. If you want to check it out, I'd encourage you to do so, so that you can take in the full magnitude of all the changes. Look at how deep this mine is over here. Oh my goodness. Look at this absolute unit of a cave that you jump down into. Oh, it's so cool. Wait, hold on. I gotta at least do this. Hold up. Hold. I don't know why I went into survival. You're not supposed to do that. There we go. Had to be done. 
All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to this video. Uh, make sure to like if you like. Check it out. It's our birthday sponsor. It's pretty cool. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Stay tuned for future updates that way. And uh, enjoy never having to strip mine again. Seriously, this is... Oh, my God. Diamonds. Gold. Iron. Just... It just doesn't stop. It's everywhere. Diamonds. Oh, I love it. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. And it's probably going to be nerfed. But maybe it won't. Hopefully it won't. All right. I'll see you next time.